Hello, welcome to our channel. In this video, we will look at how we can create a bar chart using Jasp. Alright, first we open our Jasp software. So go to Start menu and just type in Jasp. This is the software we want to open. So we have the software open here. Now you want to download and save the file with the data set you want to analyze for your computer. So I have already done that. My data files are in this folder. Over here I can use one of these. So this is a CSV file, this is JASP file, and this is Excel file. So all these three folders, all these three files, they contain the same data in different formats. And JAS takes all of these formats. So now we would navigate with those files, one of those files from here. So go to open. And then we can go to computer, click on browse. And then it takes me directly to the folder where my files are because I've been using these files. Otherwise, you may have to navigate to the correct folder from here. So I can just use this file over here. You can use any of the formats, like I said earlier. So I just use the CSV file. And if you double click on that, it will open our data. So here we have our data. Now we want to draw a bar chart for a number of siblings. So we go to descriptives. Descriptive is statistics. And then we want to look at the number of siblings. So I'll move that to, to the right. And then it already starts analyzing the data. So it already calculates uh, how many values are valid. We have 146 rows. All of them are valid. None of them are missing. And then it calculates the average, the mean, standard deviation, maximum, and minimum. So in this case, we want the bar chart. Let's go down to basic plots. And then we can just speak and uh, distribute some plots. This one, the first one here. All right, so here is the bar chart. So we have this bar over here for zero siblings. We have this bar over here for one sibling. This bar over here for two siblings and so on. And on the vertical axis, we have frequencies. Okay, that's it. And there are a few other ways you can get the same chart. For example, if you go down to customizable plots and maybe frequency plot, it's then, then it will give you the same type of graph over here. Of course, we don't need both of them. So I'm just going to uncheck one of these. So if you just uncheck here, that bug goes away. So if you want to save this result, you can pick right here, and then you can do export results. And you can save as SGML or you can save as PDF over here with the same name, or you can change the name. You can give a name like um, number of siblings, bar search. And then say, alright, so it's done exporting the results. So let's go back here and see how the results look like. All right, so this is the file we just created. So if you click on it, okay, this is what we got. All right, so that's all basically. Now, if one to create uh, bars out for other variable like race, you just have to move that. Let's get rid of this one first. So move that back. And then you can select race now. So maybe move it to the right. And it will give us the results for race. 
So for example, we have this bar over here for African Americans. We have this bar over here for Asians and so on. So this way you can create bars out for any variable you like. Alright, thank you for watching. <laughs>